the law. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the next speaker is the Union of Informed Citizens, uh, which will be followed by the Central Asian and Southern Caucasian Freedom of Expression Network. Um, Union of Informed Citizens, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator. Speaking of the role of civil society in the protection of human rights, one cannot ignore the shrinking space of CSOs in number of OSCE member states. Fortunately, Armenia, my country, is not the first in the list of those countries. The picture is worse in Russia, Belarus, Azerbaijan, and some other uh, Central Asian countries. But it does not mean that we can ignore the tendencies of shrinking space of civil society in Armenia. Uh, by now, it is mostly expressed in propaganda. For example, the public television has prepared reports to justify the fact that human rights defenders receive money from the West for anti-state activities. And in recent months, there has been an extremely problematic tendency associated with associated with a uh, shrinking space of lawyers' activities. For several months, judicial bailiff uh, has been doing illegal searches against lawyers attending courts. Uh, tomorrow, on September 13, uh, more than 150 lawyers will hold a one-day strike to demand, with demand to stop these searches. I should add, add that by now we have good legislation regarding NGOs and media. Uh, but calls to change the legislation in Armenia are regularly made by Moscow regarding peaceful assemblies in Armenia. I would like to mention that there are peaceful demonstrators in Armenia who are still in prison for more than a year. So far, not a single person who abused the use of special means and force against peaceful protests and journalists in protesters and journalists in June 2015 and July 2016 has been punished. As a result, many people in Armenia have started to be afraid of participating in peaceful assemblies because they have no reason to think that they will not be poisoned with tire gas, will not get burns or shrapnel injuries from stand grenades, or will not appear in jail, as it happened with hundreds of exclusively peaceful protesters in the last two years. We think that OSC should call on Armenia to bring police officers who uh, uh, used violence against peaceful protests uh, to the account. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, the next speaker is the Southern Caucasus Freedom of Expression Network, which will be followed by the European Network for National Human Rights of National Human Rights Institutions. Uh, Central Asia and Southern Caucasus uh, Freedom of Expression Network, you have the floor. Thank you 